Chapter 29, The Other Children Go Home. We must go down and take a look at our little friends before we must do anything else, said Mr. Wonka. He pressed a different button, and the elevator dropped lower, and as soon as it was hovering just above the entrance gate to the factory. Looking down now, Charlie could see the children and their parents standing in a little group just inside the gates. I can only see three, he said. Who's missing? I expect it's Mike TV, said Mr. Wonka. But he'll be coming along soon. Do you see the trucks? Mr. Wonka pointed to a line of gigantic covered vans parked in a line nearby. Yes, Charlie said. What are they for? Don't you remember what he said on the golden tickets? Every child goes home with a lifetime supply of candy. There's one truckload, truckload for each one of them. Loaded to the brim. Aha, Mr. Wonka went on. There goes our friend Augustic Blue. Did you see him? He's getting onto the first truck with his mother and father. You mean he's really all right? Asked Charlie, astonished. Even after you're going up that awful pipe? He's very much all right, said Mr. Wonka. He's changed, said Grandpa Go Joe, peering down through the glass wall of the elevator. He used to be fat. Now he's as thin as a straw. Of course he's changed, said Mr. Wonka, laughing. He's got squeezed up the pipe. Don't you remember? And look, there goes Miss Violet Beauregard, the gray gum chewer. It seems as though they managed to dejuice her after all. I'm so glad. And how healthy she looks. Much better than before. But she's purple in the face, cried Grandpa Joe. So she is, said Mr. Wonka. Ah, well, there's nothing we can do about that. Good gracious, said, cried Charlie. Look at poor Veruca Salt and Mr. Salt and Mrs. Salt. They're simply covered with garbage. And here comes Mike TV, said Grandpa Joe. Good heavens, what have they done to him? He's about ten feet tall and as thin as a wire. They've overstretched him on the gum-stretching machine, said Mr. Wonka. How very careless. But how dreadful for him, cried Charlie. Nonsense, said Mr. Wonka. He's very lucky. Every basketball team in the country will be trying to get him. But now, he added, it's time that we left those four silly children. I have something very important to talk to, to you about, my dear Charlie. Mr. Wonka pressed another button, and the elevator swung up into the, so the sky. Good job.